everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today's saint is a man with a zeal, a love, and an energy for the Lord that led him all the way to becoming a doctor of the church. Peter Canisius was born in 1521 in Germany during the height of the Protestant Reformation. At the young age of 19, he received his master's degree from Cologne and shortly after joined the Society of Jesus, which played a pivotal role in reviving the Catholic Church during the Reformation. He was a phenomenal preacher and writer and used these gifts to pack the churches and convert souls for Christ. He would frequently travel between colleges in Germany, preaching and inspiring the people back to the Catholic faith, so much so that he became known as the second apostle of Germany. Unlike some of his more fiery colleagues, Canisius' method of conversion wasn't to attack the Protestants. Rather, he thought the people needed to see genuine charity and be taught simple clarification about what the church actually believed. So he took it upon himself to write up three catechisms in efforts to explain the faith in a common and understandable way. In a beautiful quote that sums up his approach, Canisius states, it is plainly wrong to meet non-Catholics with bitterness or to treat them with discourtesy. For this is nothing else than the reverse of Christ's example, because it breaks the bruised reed and quenches the smoking flax. We ought to instruct with meekness those whom heresy has made bitter and suspicious and has estranged from Orthodox Catholics, especially from our fellow Jesuits. Thus, by wholehearted charity and goodwill, may we win them over to us in the Lord." End quote. Canisius brought to Germany and surrounding nations a peaceful voice in a time of great upheaval. He moderated between arguing factions and soothed the divisive wounds in the body of Christ. He never watered down the faith. Instead, he broke it down to be understandable and applicable to their daily life. Think back on your relationship with God for a moment. Which mentors have brought the Catholic faith to life for you? Maybe it was a youth minister or a certain priest, perhaps a speaker on a podcast or at a parish event. It's vital for us not only to share the faith in a loving way, but also to fill our own spiritual zeal tanks. It's not just learning the rituals and doing the rites, it's fanning the flames of love of the faith, which is to know and worship our Creator in fearful love. But if our own fire is merely embers, then we can't give what we don't have. We should always be feeding the flame with some good fuel. If you don't have a source of fuel to keep you inspired about being Catholic, don't be complacent. It's so important. My favorite thing to do is to listen to a Catholic podcast or go to daily mass when I'm able. Luckily, there are tons of resources out there, including here at Awaken Catholic. That's why we do what we do. Find what works for you and just remember to thank St. Peter for a beautiful example of how to lovingly share and receive the faith. St. Peter Canisius, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. 